Bro, don't call it the Mandalorian. This is, call it by its proper name. This is Mandal the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. That is the official name. It's the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. That's what it is. And for my thing, you're a loser. The Mandalorian is a loser. So let, so let me just get this straight. Isn't this dude supposed to be based, based off of Boba, Boba Fett, Jango Fett? Isn't this dude supposed to be a bounty hunter? Isn't this dude supposed to be, lack of a better term, a badass? Isn't this dude supposed to be tough as nails? Disney are so trash. You were never going to get... First of all, look at what they did, did to Boba Fett. Look at how they neutered Boba Fett. Disney are trash. Because Disney, their lifeblood, what they live off of, how they earn their money is this sappy BS. It's a sappy BS aimed at kids. Disney will never give you that thing. Hence why <laughs> the worst thing that could ever happen is if um, Disney got their hands on Warhammer 40k. Anybody that knows about one for the k you know how mad that will be. Because I was actually talking to my friend about, you know, um, Amazon are doing a one more 40 k adaptation with Henry Cavill in the lead. And we're like, oh my god, my... And then when you just see how ultra violence that whole thing is, imagine if they give it to Disney. Because when I watched this, this trailer, I was like... Because as my brother said, you know, because my older brother, who is a crazy Star Wars fan, I was like, so he's a babysitter. That's what it is. He's a babysitter. And my thing is, oh my... Like, how it was supposed to go was, for that first season, okay, he's with the baby Yoda and so forth, but then they then um, part ways. But baby Yoda became so popular. People said, oh, how cute, how lovely. Sold a whole bunch of um, toys and so forth. So they said, no, let's just keep this going. And let's just really just buy into it and just milk this thing all the way. So right now, it isn't... Bro, don't call it the Mandalorian. This is, call it by its proper name, this is Mandal the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. That is the official name. It's the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. That's what it is. And for my thing, you're a loser. Mandalorian, you are a freaking loser. Okay? I do not take you seriously. I also saw this bum cry. Like, what's it called? At the end of that, I think it was at the end of season two, when, when they show Luke Skywalker and... He, bro, the whole point, you're not supposed to take off your mask, you loser. You're not supposed to take off your, your mask. And bro... I, I think Pedro Pascal is an amazing actor. Bro, this guy's everything. He's a, he's a great actor. I just hope the stories are not true where he actually sort of put pressure on the creators that he wanted to show his face more. Is no, you have to. It's like, what's, what's it called? There's this film called Inside Man. Inside Man by Spike Lee with Denzel Washington, um, Chiwetel Ejiofor, and Clive Owen. And Clive, in Clive Owen's character, you never see his face. His face is covered up. And Clive Owen is okay, you know, it would be hard to do, but bro. That is just what it says for the role. The role is, I'm sorry, you're messed up. And as an actor, you have to use those res restrictions to your strength because there is literally a course in acting that's about voice. And I'm really getting your points across and creating characterizations through your voice. And there's so much, there's so many levels you can do to characterization and performance with your voice. You know, like look at Michael Keaton as Batman in the Batman film. He uh, he's, a lot of his quality performance is him as Batman, where all you can see is his mouth and just a bit of his eyes. So, but as I look at this trailer, I'm like, what is this trash? What is this? What is this garbage? This is supposed to be about Mandalorian, the lone freaking bounty hunter, saying what's up by himself. But right in every moment, bro, the, even in the poster, he's basically carrying Baby Yoda. I'm like, get this garbage trash out of my face. Get this garbage PG, you. And on the seven children stuff out of my face. If you're not ready to create something serious, Star Wars, get the hell out of my face. I am not going to watch the, the, this garbage. No, I am not watching a sappy piece of crap about, oh, how cute. Baby Yoda, oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so lovely, so wonderful. No, if you're not ready to give me a proper bounty hunter in space story, fine. Because you know what I have? I have No Man's Sky. Because I'm playing No Man's Sky right now. That's what I'm fully obsessed with right now. And in No Man's Sky, it's me. I'm not freaking carrying a bomb useless baby annoying sappy piece of crap baby yoda yes baby yoda's a loser yes i said it baby yoda's a loser he's a loser i said it i don't give a damn sue me he's a loser 
Okay, so I, in no man's cry, at least I'm alone in bounty hunter without some bomb that I have to pretty much um babysit for. So stupid man, nah. I mean, I told you, Star Wars is done. Star Wars is done. Lucas knew it, and that's why he sold it. It's freaking done. But guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited for this season three of Mandalorian?